Hey everybody, this is David with davidspassage.com uh, coming to you with another video just highlighting one of the products I really like to use when I'm when I'm in the woods, um, specifically when I'm hunting. And um, I don't know if you're anything like me, but I get really skittish when I'm hunting when I'm looking for when I'm hunting for good deals online, um, especially if when it comes to clothing because you just don't know how they're going to fit, what they're going to look like and that sort of thing. And so I took a chance and I bought this product and I want to show it to you today in case you're considering buying this product just to give you an, an idea of you know, how it might fit, what it might look like. And what it is, this is the Ameristep uh, 3D Leafy Poncho. And uh, I'm going to go through some of the up-close features, some of the features that, that you, you can only really see up close. And then I'm going to put it on and kind of show you what it looks like when I'm wearing it. Um, it, it does a really good job, and so I just wanted to, to share this product with you. First of all, just to give a little close-up look at this, um, if you you know you can pick these up at Gander Mountain. I bought this one online at Amazon, and uh, I think I paid forty dollars for it, um, which is about half the price of what you'd pay on uh, at GanderMountain.com for it. But you know, it's just a big, big poncho, just like you would think of a think of a rain poncho that you would wear, one of those big plastic rain ponchos, kind of like that. But it's not plastic; it's actually made of this material. Um, I'm not sure what this what this type of webbing is. It, it looks exactly like the webbing on my on my fly fishing net. So um, that's what it's made out of in the back. Again, you can see the kind of the pattern. It's got a real tree pattern to it. Um, I'm not sure a real tree AP pattern. I think of what it is. It has a hood, and the hood has a few features that are really neat. Um, it has a it has a little uh, strap here that you can use to pull it to pull the front of the hood either back or forward, just depending on on where you like your hood to rest. I like to be able to pull mine over my over up into my eyes if I can, um, just to just to stay really really concealed. Um, has an ear hole on both sides. Go figure that. Um, it also has just like a lot of uh, like a hoodie would have. It has these um, these clips here that you can cinch the hoodie up tight around your head in different configurations. Um, it also has five. It has one yeah five of these buttons that you can use to. Just sort of adjust, you know, the front of it, like you would a shirt, like the front of a shirt. Put those back together. One of the other neat things about this thing, um, it does have on the sides where your arms would come out. It has these little, it has these little bungee cords also, where you can you can actually cinch the poncho around your arm. You put your arm through this and cinch it up around your arm so that the poncho moves with you like a sleeve has those on both sides and that's pretty much it okay I'm a big guy I'm uh, I weigh about 265 pounds probably and I'm six foot one and so one of the things that's really neat about this is I think it fits me really well when I put it on I'm gonna put it on here look like an idiot for a little bit but uh, that's okay I want to give you guys an idea of what it looks like when it's on a six foot one 260 pound person so here's, here's what it looks like as you can see it's pretty wide if I come up here, I can cinch the arms up. Right around my arms so they feel snug. Now, you, as you can see here, if I'm holding my arms out like this, um, there is some exposure there. So if you're going to turkey hunt or something like that, you want to definitely make sure you have gloves on there. Or one of the things I like to do is I, I actually don't cinch it up all that much um, because then I, because when I'm crouching down, my hands are actually in here like this holding the gun. I still have, I still have gloves on, you know, camel gloves, especially for turkey hunting, um, to stay concealed. As far as how, how tall it is, you can see it's, uh, it comes down to the middle of my shin when I'm standing up. And one of the nice things I like to do, and I, I like to crouch down and sit against a tree if I'm, if I'm turkey hunting, and what's nice then is it covers your whole, your whole body. And this is, this is uh, a lot of times this is really good for, for turkey hunting because it, it does a wonderful job just breaking up the human form, obviously, there is no human form. I'm a big square, but when I'm leaning up against a tree and uh, looking for that that gobbler coming around over the bend there, um, I, I look like a leaf pile, as most people have, have talked about it. So if I cinch this up, let me cinch this up real quick. Gives you a little bit of an idea how that cinches up. Okay, I don't like that feature either because when I'm turkey hunting, sometimes I like to keep my head down and keep my whole. I concealed, you know, my whole face concealed. I have a face mask, obviously, but I like to keep as much as my eyes concealed. It helps me to just sit still and, you know, observe, listen, that sort of thing. So that's pretty much it. Now, um, 
Let's see if I can take you to a tree over here. I can show you a little bit about. Let's stay out of the poison ivy here. Give you a little idea on what it what it would look like when I'm um, up against a tree. If I could find a tree around here that doesn't isn't surrounded by poison ivy, um, I'll get up on it and show you just what I'm talking about in terms of being able to crouch really good into these things. It's really good for hunting. It's really good for paintball. It's really versatile. I'm gonna show you another trick with it too. Oh, here looks like a good tree. Yeah, obviously it's summertime, so everything's super green, but when you're hunting in spring or fall, it's beautiful. Okay. So if I'm leaning up against a tree, or if I'm sitting down, usually I'll have a turkey seat or something like that, I'm really concealed here. Um, obviously you can see me in the camera, you can watch me, but I, I think it does, just does a wonderful job. It's super bright green out right now, it's summertime. But when you're generally hunting in the fall, you know, especially bow season in the fall and uh, spring turkey season when things aren't quite as green, you don't have as much undergrowth, it does a phenomenal job. I actually took a bunch of my students out for a game of capture the flag <laughs> at a local nature place and uh, I had kids walking by me 10, 12 feet, and they, they didn't even see me. I was just laying down on the ground with it. I'm going to show you one other really neat thing you can do with this, though. This is where I think this thing really sells itself. Not only it's a poncho, one of the things you can do with it, if you notice, it's a big square. And with this netting the way it is, if you take a couple, you know, measure it out, take a couple stakes with you, you can actually set this up as a blind as well. You know, in terms of putting a stake in here or, you know, f figuring out some system where you could tie it up maybe between a couple trees using some paracord or, um, you know, get some tent stakes or something like that. This makes for a really nice blind. And uh, again, I'm six foot one. So this thing is, let me say, I can't remember what the length is. But that's six foot one. And then another. two feet or so. So that's about eight feet long. Makes for a nice tall blind if you wanted to do that or you could let it sit to the ground. Anyway, it's just a great product. I really, really appreciate this product. It's been great. Extremely versatile. Um, I just highly recommend it for hunting, for camouflage. Man, you can use it for paintball. Anything where you need to be camouflaged in the woods and uh, if you want some vers something versatile that you can use as a, as a, um, as a blind, temporary blind, this will work great for that too. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you watching this video. Appreciate your subscriptions. And uh, you guys take care. Have fun hunting.